my channel, Restore Glory. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Of all the days that I'm trying to shoot a video, this is this is me being caught up on all of my hauls. My neighbor uh, has decided to, to uh, cut their grass. And they have lots of grass to cut. So they just started and I had my door open. I had my window open. It was extremely loud. But I decided just to go ahead and push through anyway. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. My sinuses, I don't know uh, if any of you have any problems with sinuses, but my sinuses have been dragging me down for like the last three weeks. Seriously, I'm not 100%. I'm still stuffy. I have all this congestion and, you know, craziness going on. And my uh, ear, nose, and throat is completely, completely crazy. So I have been really... Uh, pushing myself through work and through the reseller business and it's been a little, it's been a little tough I tell you it's definitely been a little tough and I wanted to kind of sort of catch up on all of my hauls and this should be the last of it I think um, because I have some work travel coming up in about uh, uh, about a week and a half and uh, and then I go on travel for almost almost two weeks almost two weeks which is crazy um, so in, the, in, in me trying to do that, I'm also, I also want to start getting some Christmas stuff listed and some Thanksgiving stuff listed. So I have to do all of this in between, uh, work, uh, the reseller business, my family and just life. All right. So this is not to complain guys. Trust me. I am not a complainer. We're just having a conversation. My life is my life. I love my life. And I'm completely, completely blessed with my life. So this is not a complaint. We're just talking. You know, one of these days, I think what I'm going to do, uh, hopefully when I have some time, I'm actually going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a uh, uh, let's talk and get to know me type video. I really want to do that. And uh, I'm going to try to lean on my uh, my reseller friend, Shalanda. She probably think I'm completely crazy. And uh, we'll do like a little chit chat of, of our reselling business about our lives and, you know, how we met and how we both got into the reseller business. But I want to do that one day, you know, tell you a little bit about my life. You guys always hear me talk about my daughter. She's at University of Maryland, you know, studying vet veterinary science. And um, most of you know that I have a full time, very busy full time job. And I, this is one of those days, guys, honestly, that I really wish that I could do this full time. I really seriously do because I do enjoy it. It's like, it's my wusa, right? Um, I love resourcing. I love shipping. I love listing. I love the, uh, the comments and the feedback that I get from people who buy items from my store. I got the most kindest, kindest feedback, um, on my Etsy shop and you know people are just kind sometimes you know there's some ones that slip through that you know you just have to go hmm okay and just respond and and keep it moving customer service for me is key but 99% of the time I get great feedback thankfully um, and I just love 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 bringing items into um, the hands of people who enjoy them and that's the reason why I named my shop Restored Glory because most of the items that I'm drawn to most of the items that I sell are vintage and antique and so uh, I believe that they can all be in your home decor your kitchen decor um, and you can restore them to their original glory and you know have a whole new crop of people that can appreciate them in your home decor so I'm babbling all right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think I have, this is, the, this is definitely the last of my hauls for a little bit, for sure. But I have some pretty cool stuff, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this one item, I actually don't think I'm going to be able to get this listed in time for Halloween. Um, I just don't think I am. I could try and maybe someone will get it. And maybe if it doesn't get to them in time for Halloween, then maybe what they could do is just save it for next year. But anyway, I paid $4.99 for this. It's another Yankee candle. Um, they call this Boney, Boney, give me one second. They call this Boney Bunch, right? And this is the Grim Reaper. I don't, uh, I don't uh, see any chips or cracks on it. It's an excellent, excellent condition. I think this little bowl, it actually hangs up on, what do you call this thing? The sword, what do you call this thing? I, I don't know. I don't do Grim Reaper. I don't do Grim Reaper. Don't do, I don't do that. But, uh, but I don't know what this is called. Uh, but anyway, I think this, this bowl hangs on this thing. And like I said, this, I sold, 
um, did I sell two of them? I sold another long uh, candle holder uh, a few months ago. And then this one, uh, it was kind of buried a little bit and I forgot about it. But anyway, um, I'm going to try to get it listed. Maybe someone will want it for, um, for next Halloween, but isn't it, uh, Halloween-ish? <laughs> so that's that. The next item, um, I did look this one up and according to, what was it, eBay or Etsy? eBay, it's supposed to be rare. I don't know why people put rare in it. Maybe it's just, I don't know if it's hard to find or, or if it's rare. You know, of course, you know, I listen to George the Antique Nomad. You know, I love him. And George always talks about people using the word rare. Um, but in any case, this is a Linux piece and they're calling it Trunk Trunks Up Figurine. Um, there are several of them that sold, uh, I want to say between $20 and $25. I think I saw some ones that were a little bit lower than $20. And I think one sold also for about $49. So, excuse me, the prices are a little bit all over the place. But rare or not, I think it's still adorable. Let me just show you the bottom of it. It does say Linux. And it is in excellent condition, guys. No trip, no chip. Get it together. No chips. I'm going to get a t-shirt. No chips, no cracks. Um, so I don't have to say it. Uh, no chips or no cracks on these beautiful trunk up elephants. It's so pretty. It really is. I love these little lilac, really sweet, dainty lilac flowers. And uh, it is really super cute. So I absolutely love that piece. I'm so glad I found that one. The next piece, I'm actually going to try to get this one listed for, uh, I think it would be great for um, Thanksgiving and or Christmas. And I know you guys have seen this a ton of times. It is a carnival glass um, uh, devil eggs dish. It is in excellent condition, guys. No chips, no cracks, no anything. My neighbor is like blowing the leaves now. Thanks a lot. Uh, so anyway, it is in excellent condition. No chips, no cracks. I... Uh, and, and they, they sell well, too. They definitely sell well. There's a ton of them listed, I think. And uh, they sell anywhere between, I want to say, $20 and maybe $30. It just depends, I guess. But this one is in excellent, honestly, it is in excellent condition, guys. And as you can see, it is stunningly, stunningly beautiful. I love, love, love this uh, uh, kind of orangey marigold, I guess, carnival glass dish. All right, so that's that. The next item I'm going to show you is just too cute for words. It's just too cute. It is a dolphin of, uh, made in Japan. There's the Japan sticker. Uh, bank. This was only, what, $2.99? I think it was only $2.99, but look how adorable it is. It is so adorable. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. Um, obviously, the stopper is not there. You can probably get one of those babies, but this one is so adorable. And I know that uh, people love dolphins. So I'm pretty sure this one would do well. I'll look and see what they go for. I don't remember. They probably don't go for much. But I don't think I paid. I think I only paid $2.99 for it. So we'll see. We'll definitely see how that one goes. Excuse me, guys. My sinuses are not cooperating. So that's that. Put that right there. The next item I'm going to show you, I actually have a set of four of these. These are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I have a set of four. I'm only showing you two of them. I paid $3.49 for a set of four of these. Now look at these babies. I am very tempted to keep these in my collection. I'm really seriously tempted to, to keep them because I love this uh, Otagiri style mug. I love them, but I love how it looks... Um, fallish to me because of the ferns and they are in great great condition guys practically uh brand new and i have four of them and um aren't they beautiful they are so very very pretty i love these and they are in great great condition like i said i have a set of four of these and i pay 3.49 for a set of four i saw i don't know who the maker is there's no maker on it oh but i did see a, a sticker on the bottom the bottom of one of them that said japan so they're more than likely are vintage um they could very well be otagiri excuse me they could very well be otagiri i'm not really sure but um i saw a set of salt and pepper shakers just like this with the with this fern motif on it and leaves and the, the salt and pepper shakers i think it just said vintage salt and pepper shakers but they were exactly the same they were speckled and um 
They had a, uh, this brown kind of sort of painting on it as well. And I want to say they sold, the salt pepper shaker sold for about $25. So we shall see what these babies go for and then we will, we will keep it moving. All right, so I have two large items. I'm gonna pause my camera, not now, but I'm gonna pause my camera because I have an amazing quilt I wanna show you and some wooden, I think these are Siamese uh, cats. Um, but guys, I gotta show you this other piece. I am, I have to go down in my shed and see, but I'm pretty sure that I have this piece and I don't, do I have it listed? I have to go and look, I really do, I really do. But I think I have this piece already. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I'm 100% I'm sure, guys, this is Murano. Look how smooth that base is. I am really thinking I already have this. I have another one, which would be amazing. I have to go and look. But look how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, I, I could not even believe that I found this again. And I wanna say this was only like $7.99. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, gonna put that there. All right, so the next item, um, I didn't know it was Linux. Actually, I saw it on the shelf and when I turned it over and saw that it was Linux, I was, I was really surprised. I'm gonna call, it's called the Linux Country Santa. So I'm gonna show you that on the back. The Linux Country Santa has a Linux logo. He's made out of like a really, really hard resin, but isn't he cute? He, he looks like a Country Santa. He's very heavy too. He's gotta weigh at least three pounds, but I totally love him. He stands about maybe eight inches tall. Oh my God, are they finished? Oh, thank God. But isn't that adorable? I love these Santa. If I, if I, you know, the Santas and the red suits are completely cool, and I know that they're traditional, but I really do love um, the different type of Santas, country Santas, the, uh, the um, what do you call those, the folk art Santas. I love all of those. Those, uh, those are my jam. All right, so that's that. Put that there. Be careful there, little fella. All right, the next piece, I think I paid $2.99 for this. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Asian vase. I think this is called H-A-S-U, H-A-S-U um, Asian vase or something like that. But as you can see, it, def it has gold. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'll try to tilt that back so you can see. It has gold trim and uh, around the leaves and the flowers. And it is really super pretty. I love it. No chips, no cracks. Um, the gold is pretty much intact. And here's the mark on the bottom. And I'm pretty sure I saw a few of these online that uh, were selling for about $20. This one is probably about eight and a half inches tall, if I had to guess. But isn't that pretty? The light is washing out a little bit, but the gold is definitely there. I hope you can see that. All right, so that's that. The next item I actually saw, this was only, oh no. Okay, I thought I tore it. This was weird, but I like picking up the weird. This is some type of enameled on copper type flower, right? There's no more, I think there was a, um, a green pad on the bottom that came off. I saw some a little square green pad on my bag. Um, and I think that's probably what that was. I don't think there was a sticker on the bottom, but guys, check this out. I saw one just like, all of these are metal, and I think that's copper. I think they're enamel on copper is what they called. This is really not that big, but check this out. When I did some preliminary research on this little baby, um, I believe one of these, the same exact size, sold on Etsy for about $40. If you guys know anything about these pieces, please do put it down in the comments and uh, and let me know if I am actually researching that right. But isn't that beautiful? Like seriously, seriously, seriously be beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, and I don't remember how much I paid for it. I really don't, maybe $3.99, $2.99 for that. Yes, please. All right, so the next item, 
Okay, so I had been pronouncing this particular style glass wrong forever. I kept saying Reuben, Reuben glass, but it was actually Reuven, and I think it's spelled R-U-E-V-E-N, Reuven glass, right? I actually have a Reuven piece. Um, I think I have it listed, I'm not really sure, but it's a, it's like a apothecary jar, not a big one, but a little small one. Um, and when I saw this one, I said, wow, I think that one is Reuven as well, obviously because of the color, but it's a handkerchief vase, right? I love the shape of this. Oh my goodness. It is gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous. I don't know what those uh, stains are at the top. I don't know if that's in the glass or I just need to clean it. I'm not really sure. But for the most part, guys, this particular piece is in excellent, excellent condition. And if it's not true roofing glass, it certainly does look like it. I did see a, another Reuven glass handkerchief vase. It was a little bit taller than this. It wasn't flat like this. And I saw one that sold for, I want to say $114, but it was taller. It had to have been at least maybe eight inches tall. Um, and it sold for about $114. So I am going to have to do a little bit more research to see if I can find any roofing glass that are shaped like this and um, see if I can find some comps. But gorgeous. I don't remember how much I paid for it, guys. Probably less than $4. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, the next item is extremely, extremely heavy. I paid $6.99 for this, and of course I was going to pick it up. It is huge. It's about a nine-inch size. This thing has got to be at least, and it weighs a ton. It is, it's by, uh, it's called, um, oh my goodness, I just had it in my mind. Gottinger right? It's called a crystal. It's by Shannon Crystal. It's called Shannon Crystal by Gottinger. And this is a lotus candle uh, candle holder, right? Now, I have a couple of the smaller ones, probably like what, maybe three or four inches. This one is nine inches. It's huge. You can use this for Christmas, any type of holiday decor. You can put all types of beautiful colored uh, large candle taper or not tapers, but uh candles in this and it would just look stunningly beautiful you could put lights around this look how look how much is sparkling without the candles isn't it gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and i paid 6.99 for this baby here's the bottom and what i might do quite honestly uh i might well i don't want to do that because like the little ones sell so i'm gonna i have two little ones so i'm gonna sell those separately and uh and then i, I was gonna try to sell all three of them but that may be too much i'll just keep this one uh, and just list it separately, but no chips, no cracks. It is in beautifully, stunningly beautiful condition. Isn't that gorgeous? I love, 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 love it. Got this from the Goodwill. All right, the next item is, it is by Inesco, and it plays Pachabel Cannon number one. I'm not gonna play it because this thing will not stop. Anyway, it is really super duper cool. I love these vintage um, music boxes. And as you can see, it's by Inesco, and um, it plays uh, this cannon. Now, it's so weird because you see this kind of, I'm not going to call it a banjo, but this musical instrument on the top, I don't know that this was actually supposed to go on it. I don't know. When I open it up, as you can see, it looks like this baby was glued in somehow. So maybe it's the original. I have no idea. But um, when you look up these musical boxes, I don't remember seeing any of them that had like a musical instrument on the top. So, but any, anyway, these do sell well for me. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but people love these little Inesco musical, musical boxes. All right, the next piece, I forgot, I gotta pull those out too. Oh. See, I told you, just trying to play. I spoke too much. He says, I will not be denied. I will play. All right. The next one, guys, is a uh, Joseph original. Uh, what do they call these things? Is it the birthday girl? I think it's the birthday girls, right? And this is for number 15. So these sell well for me. They, uh, uh, they used to be like super duper highly collectible. People were collecting them. Uh, and they, they still do sell. I recently saw a couple of these that sold on eBay, honestly, recently, for about $19. And guess how much I paid for her? 
$1.99 and she's in excellent condition. Her, uh, her, her, her angel wings are intact. Her gift is intact. Her eyes are black and that lets you know, I believe that lets you know that the black eyes I think are the ones, or is it the brown eyes? I don't remember. It's something with the, with the eyes that tells their age. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna put it up there. Anyway, here's the bottom. As you can see, the, the engraving says Joseph Originals. There's a made, there's a Japan sticker there. And there is the Joseph Original sticker right there. Number 15, isn't she gorgeous? And it actually even has this Joseph Original tag. This says the 15th year, as you can see on that tag. What else does this baby say? Guys, I am making some barbecue chicken for dinner. Like seriously, it is smelling up my house like, you know, uh, restaurant rest like i'm at a four-star restaurant i love to cook i'm a i'm a huge foodie like seriously i watch the food network all those shows and i make up my own recipes so tonight here's the deal okay i'm gonna digress just a second so this saturday was it saturday or sunday i can't remember it was sunday i think i didn't feel like cooking right so um was it sunday yeah it was sunday because my sister I had to watch my niece this weekend, and I definitely didn't feel like cooking. Um, anyway, um, so we ordered this. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of Bang Bang Shrimp, right? You can mostly get it at restaurants or whatever, but it's like um, a battered shrimp that is coated in this sauce, right? It is called Bang Bang. And so uh, my husband, I don't think he ever had it, and he loved it, right? I ordered it as a side for my, um, for my meal. And he loved it. So to so today, I said, you know what? I'm gonna try to replicate that. So I googled what's in Bang Bang sauce, and I have everything. I think I only had to get one thing from the store, and I'm gonna try to duplicate that. So he's gonna be completely surprised tonight when I, uh, when I, uh, when I, uh, when he comes home from work. So I, I'm just sorry, I'm digressing because I really do love to cook. I love trying recipes. That's my jam. It also kind of sort of is my big re. Oh, thank God he's gone. Thank the Lord. Oh, that's a good thing. Anyway, back to the back to the hall, Donna. Keep it together. Um, she is in excellent condition, guys. Number fifteen, and uh, of course, I'll get her listed because she is uh, adorably cute. All right. So the next item. Let me see how am I going to do this. So I have some items there that I really want to show you guys, but I'm going to have to pull them out of the box. All right. Let me just show you this as I I'm going to get to the complicated stuff last. All right, guys, so the next item, this was only $1.99. It is a repli excuse, a reproduction. They call these things flu covers, F-L-U-E, flu covers. This one is a replica, uh, a, rep a reproduction, Donna, get it together. I'm trying to say replica, repercussion, uh, rep I'm trying to say replica and reproduction at the same time. My brain and my mouth need to catch up. So anyway, I'm going to show you the back. There we go. And um, it, this one is made by this company called Gallery Graphics, right? And it's a Victorian style flu cover. I love this one because it has these beautiful Victorian style images of Christmas, like elves and um, there's the, the Holy Family and Santa Claus. Very, very beautiful images, right? And it says Merry Christmas to all up there in the top. So like I said, I only paid a dollar and ninety nine for this, but it's, this will be so beautiful in uh, your Christmas home decor. You can hang it on the wall, or put it as a part of like a uh, an assemblage, or just put it um, on a uh, what do you call those things? A picture holder. Yeah, and just have it as a part of your Christmas home decor. So, anyway, I thought that was super cute. The next item there was I found all of these, a set of four of these. For one dollar and ninety nine cent, they are vintage Hallmark table covers, right? So I have four, four of these. They were all a dollar and ninety nine. I'm going to show you these individually because they are so adorably cute. So the first one is uh, is called the Divine Miss Piggy. You know, she used to be my favorite. Oh my God, her and Kermit. She used to be my my favorite. But anyway, it's a sixty inch by one hundred and two inch. Uh, paper table cover. I'll just show you the label so you can see it. New in package, right? It's called the Divine Miss Piggy, and she is totally divine. Look at her, and guys, look at look at this. 
I didn't know what they what they go for. Here's the bag. I didn't know what they go for. But again, I paid $1.99 for all of these. But these vintage Hallmark uh, paper, um, paper tablecloths, they sell for about $13. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yay me. So that's Miss Piggy. The next one I have is, I think it's, um, it's just, it's just called border design. So, but it has images. It, to me, it looks like it's like a, what am I trying to say? Like a computer, computer type um, design, like a bunch of computer. There's a keyboard and a bunch of switches, like a big, what do you call those things? Um, oh my goodness. I was just watching a movie recently too. Like a big computer mainframe or something. Like, I mean, that's, that's not the right well, maybe it's like a rocket, because I do see things that says fuel. Maybe it's airplane related. Listen, I don't know. Oh, quad jet thruster. So, so maybe it has something to do with the airplane. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a, maybe it's a space shuttle. Because look, look at little space shuttle people. It may be a space shuttle, but there's no name on it. It just says border design. It probably has something to do with a space shuttle. Listen. I don't remember things. So that was that <laughs> Oh, darn. So then I have two of these. And obviously these have a Thanksgiving theme. So this one um, says Happy Thanksgiving. And it has some pumpkins and some very, very harvest type of uh, uh, theme. And these are 60 by 102. And like I said, I have two of these. Two of these. Oh, there you go. I paid a dollar ninety-nine for all four. Aren't they adorable? Couldn't believe that. And I literally didn't think anything of it. I said, "Well, somebody's going to want some nostalgia. They certainly, you could. They're certainly practical, you know. And you can use them for your holiday home decor." And I was thinking, even if I get five or six dollars for them, right, each, it would be fine because I paid a dollar ninety-nine. So yay me to just to find out that they sell for about twelve thirteen dollars so that's pretty cool this next item guys i gotta show you i gotta lift this up for a second i think that it very well may be what's the word um a hobby project or somebody's craft project but i absolutely could not leave this in a store excuse me one second i could not leave this in a store because it, it was really seriously stunningly beautiful weird and stunningly beautiful at the same time so let me just show you the back the back says porcelainosa monker and then it says made in Spain, right? So I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. That's enough information for me for me to at least do some type of research on it, right? But look at this piece. Oh my goodness. Sorry about the glare, but I have no other way to show it to you. But look at it. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like a mirror that has all of these um, stunningly beautiful baubles and tiles, broken tiles. These iridescent, look at that. And there's some shells on the bottom. Look at that. Right? And this was only $4.99. I'm like, I'm going to pick it up. I don't care what, I, I couldn't find anything on porcelain nosa other than porcelain nosa. I think it just means porcelain tiles or something. Porcelain noca, monker. I, I think it has something to do with tiles. But nothing designed like this, Right? So I actually think that somebody may have taken a plain tile and probably made this, but they did a fantastic job. Oops, my candles. They did a fantastic job. So I'm like, uh, yes, please. All right, so the next item, I gotta get to that because that's gonna be a project to do all of that. The next one was just gorgeous because I love, love, love this color. Look at that. It is by uh, Maxera. Right? Maxera does okay. Back in the day, Maxera used to do really well. I'm not sure exactly who does Maxera. I want to say maybe Target or one of the big box stores sells Maxera um, a lot. But this one, I just could not leave this one behind. Look how beautiful. It almost looks Majolica-esque. They have some very expensive, they, they have some very expensive, they call these uh, gurgling pitchers or something or gurgling fish or something. And... Um, 
But this one is in excellent, excellent condition, guys. No chips, no cracks. Let me just show you the bottom so you can see the name, right? And I just love it. Absolutely just, just gorgeous. Great, great condition. And it was coming home with me. All right, so I'm going to take all these out because I'm not going to be able to show you all of them at the same time. Um, but they came in, what I'm about to show you came in those little baggies. Excuse me, guys, let me put that there. Um, yeah, I think I'm good. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get this together. Put that there. That's what I want. All right. So I have, how many of these? I have two, four, six, eight, nine. I have nine. So in the little baggies at the Goodwill, I believe, I found a set of these, uh, I'm going to call them vintage wooden um, blocks, right? So they have obviously very uh, vintage Christmas scenes, mostly Santas, right? So, um, and all of them have A and B on it. I don't know why. Let me just show you. Here's the A and here's the B. All of them have that on it. Um, but, uh, but they have images of Santa, as you can see. And uh, let's see if there are any that are different. Yep. There's this one, different type of scenes of Santa. So I have two, four, I have eight of these. And then in that same bag was this beautiful little fella. No marks, no uh, maker's marks on the bottom, but I don't think it goes with that set. I think they probably just threw him in there or maybe it did come with it. And um, I don't know any more about it, but isn't he awesome? Very folk artsy Santa, and he's saying Merry Christmas with his Christmas tree. You guys see him? Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty adorable too. So I have to do a little bit more research on those those blocks and see what what they go for. I'm not really sure, but I gotta figure it out. All right. So the next item, I I was goo goo gaga when I saw this one because. I literally was just talking about this to another friend, and um, it actually stemmed from a, a conversation that George the Antique Nomad, you know I love him, was having. I'm going to meet him one day. I promise you I'm going to meet him one day. I, I actually sent him a note and asked him, did, would he ever possibly make it to the East Coast? If he comes where in anywhere on the East Coast, I'm going to drive within reason to go and see him. I have got to meet him in person one day. I've got to. So anyway, I'm babbling. So this conversation uh, stemmed from uh, one of the hauls that I saw George the Antique, Antique Nomad do about M.A. Hadley and how the company went out of business. And I think they're back in business now. I think they went out of business and now they're back in business. But the M.A. Hadley brand is still going. People still do collect them. And uh, people love, love, love their, uh, love their products. So when I saw this one, I was so hoping that it didn't have any, because it was only one, and I was really hoping it didn't have any chips or cracks on it, and I was delighted that it did not. This one is called a, it's huge. It's like a, I think they call this like a soup or a cereal bowl. And here's the M.A. Hadley uh, brand on the back, of the mark on the back, as you can see. Isn't she gorgeous, guys? Guess how much I pay for her? $1.99. $1.99. And these go anywhere between $25 or $30 for one bowl. Isn't that gorgeous? I was so happy when I saw this. And it just pays to listen to other resellers, and resellers I'm telling you, because you never know what's out there, right? People who have been doing this for like years. And uh, I got my ears perking up and always looking out for the things that people are looking for. And uh, I would have never have known about M.A. Hadley had it not been for George the Antique Nomad and probably Jocelyn, the crazy lamp lady. And I would not have even thought to even look for it. But now I, I keep my eyes out on uh, M.A. Hadley a lot because some of the pieces can sell for really, 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 really good money. All right. So a couple of things. The next item I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to, because i got to set up these other ones. They're, they're Linux ornaments that I got for an amazing price, but they're all in the box, and I didn't think to take them out the box. I don't want to take them out the box while I'm filming. So I'm going to show you this last item, this not last, this next item, and then I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to... Continue. So bear with me. All right. What time is it? Oh, we got good time. All right. So 
I was in the store and I saw this box. It's a very nondescript looking box. I'm going to show you the box so you can see. It just says Goalie. Now, I believe Goalie is a vitamin. I'm pretty sure it's like a vitamin. So I didn't think anything of it. It was it was near the Christmas stuff that um, the store had put out. I remember that. And so I didn't think anything of it. I just saw a red box that said Goalie. I thought it was vitamins and didn't really think about it until I got closer to it and it said White House Ornament Collection, right? I paid $3.49 for this entire box. So there is a set of, I think I have a set of six or eight. I have to count them. But they are White House Ornaments. And I got to show you them all together because they all are in great, excellent condition, right? Guys, give me one moment. I have got to pause this for just one second. Give me one moment. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. So I, I told you I was making some chicken and I just want to make sure because it was smelling kind of sort of like it maybe maybe was cooking a little bit fast. I just want to make sure I was checking. It was smelling amazing actually, but I just want to make sure that I checked on that before I wrapped up this video. So yeah, so um, anyway, so I le last left off telling you about these White House Association. They're called White House Association uh Christmas ornaments, right? And like I said, they all came in this goalie box, right? And I believe I have six of them. So I'm going to show you all the ones that I have. This one of, uh, this, the first one is of Lincoln, as you can see. President Abraham Lincoln, right? And this one is really cool too because it kind of sort of opens up like this. Isn't that cool? I thought that was cool. Now, just out of curiosity, I just wanted to see what these things generally go for. The Lincoln one recently sold, I want to say like the end of September, for like $20. Just the Lincoln one. And I paid, give me one second. <laughs> I paid $349 for this entire box. So the Lincoln one sold recently for about around $20, I believe. Right? So that's that one. The next one is just beautiful as well. This one is obviously a picture of the White House. Which way do I put this baby? Oh, like this? So that's that one. So that's two. Then here's three. This one uh, says the White House 200th anniversary, Christmas 2000. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure if all of these are a part of that collection. Maybe whoever had these just loved uh, collecting White House ornaments, but I'm going to absolutely sell these as a lot. So that's three. Then this next one is so super cool. It's, it's interactive. It's, 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 it moves. This one has, I have no idea who that is. This is the White House 2003, but look at that. So he, this little horsey one moves. He like moves. And I think when I looked this one up in particular, I think this one sold for about 15. So we'll have to do a little bit more research on these babies and see how I'm going to lot all of these up. So how many is it? That's four, right? And then this is five. This one is actually kind of sort of my favorite. This one says a winter sleigh ride with President and Mrs. Hayes. That's the back of it. But look at this. Isn't that pretty? So very, very pretty. I love that. I, I really do. I love that. That's, how many is that? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I got more. So five. Six. Oh, wow. This one is pretty, too. This one says the White House... I cannot read that. It looks like 2005. Look at that one. That's a picture of, it looks like a man and a woman walking in front of the White House. But there's a G, is that a G? It looks like that's a G. I think these are by the White House. I'm looking at this. On the back of this one, it says 2005 WHHA. So I think that stands for White House Historical Association Christmas Ornaments. Right? So that's that one. Oh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So six so far, and this is number seven. I'm just gonna put them. I have eight of them. So I have eight that I paid three dollars and forty nine cents for. So that's pretty cool. This one says the White House Christmas two thousand and six, and this one's actually signed on the back. Huh. I'm sorry, guys. This is the first time I actually looked at all of these together. But sorry about that. Um. So yeah. So this one is uh White House. So sorry, White House Christmas two thousand and six. And it is signed on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that signature like right there. I have no idea. I gotta do a little bit more research, but they're beautiful. All of them are beautiful. So I am going to sell them all as a lot. And the last one I have, oh, now this one is this one is beautiful. This one says the White House Christmas 2007. And this is Grover Cleveland. Oh, it says the first presidential White House wedding on the back. Look at that. So you learn something new every day. And this is Grover Cleveland and his wife, Frances Folsom. They got married in June, uh, 19, uh, 19, June the 2nd, 1886. You guys won't be able to see that. But this is Grover Cleveland and his bride, Frances. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty cool. I thought that was a pretty good thing. Sometimes you gotta look in them boxes. Cause I have found some treasures in just plain, unassuming boxes. So I have eight of these, and I'm so very, very happy. I think when I, um, I excuse me one second, guys. I don't mean to reach out of the camera. I think when I looked at these originally, excuse me one second. I think that there were a set of twelve, maybe that came with this whole set. I think it was a set of twelve. And I think I saw an entire set of 12 that sold for about $59. I'd have to do a little bit more research on that baby to see how they do. I don't know. Anyway, so I have uh, a couple more items and then I'm done. So these next items, a set of Linux. Linux was very good to me uh, this go round. A set of Linux, um, what am I trying to say? Linux ornaments, right? And they were $2.99 a piece, and they were all in the original box. So, and they are mostly, well, I was going to say they're mostly Santa Claus, but they're not. One is a Santa Claus, and one is a penguin, and one is a snowman. So anyway, they're, they are adorable, okay? So this one, as you can see, it, it says uh, Linux. See that? Look at that adorable Santa. He is adorable. Little ornament. So there's the Santa, and the next one is a snowman. He's skiing. <laughs> Excellent condition. They all came in their original boxes, right? And then the last one is a. This one is my favorite. I made this is one. This one is going to be kind of hard to to sell, but I may just sell them all together. Little cutie patootie. Uh, Excuse me, guys. I'm so distracted because now my neighbors um, across the street are cutting their grass. It's okay. Cut on. Uh, Cutie Patootie uh, Penguin with the candy cane. So more than likely, like I said, I'll just sell all of these. Uh, I'll sell all of these together as a as a lot. Um, I paid two ninety nine a piece, and so um, we'll see. We'll see how they go. All right, so I think that's it. So let me pause here because this next item I just have to grab over here. And the next one is just too big. I'm going to have to stand up. So just bear with me one moment. All righty, it's, it's, uh, it's me again. So uh, these next two items, they came, they were uh, sitting up on the shelf. And um, I'm so surprised that no one picked them up. I really am. And I think the reason why they didn't pick them up is because they were, they definitely had some damage on the ears. But I am so glad I picked them up. I, there was a set of two and there was $6.99 for two. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this cutie patootie, tall wooden, I think these are Siamese cats, right? So the damage is on their ears, as you can tell. See like right there and like damage there. But other than that, uh, the base is fine, no other, scratches or nicks or whatever here's the bottom right and i'm thinking that uh you would 
you wouldn't even barely know it. You barely notice that. Even if you get some paint to kind of sort of fill that in or whatever, you would barely notice it. I would, I would probably put some type of wood. Uh, this is solid wood, so I would put some type of um, wood uh, preserver on these and shine them up. But they are very. I think they're very mid-century modern, and uh, I just I love them. Totally love this. And so this one is probably, if I had to guess, guys, this one is probably about maybe 14 inches tall, if not taller, right? But then the next one, hold on a second. This one has got to be about 20 inches tall, at least. Look at this one. This one is huge. And again, as you can see the damage on their ears, but again, um, as a collector of uh, kind of sort of folk artsy, maybe mid-century modern pieces, I would easily sell these there are a few nicks here on the bottom and certainly the the chip the not even nicks these are uh there's damage right but you could easily guys get some paint to um to fix that right if you want to get creative and even get some type of moldy stuff or you know to fill that in uh, some wood filler or something to fill that in and just paint it it's a little dusty obviously but I have two of them and I paid two. And so here's the deal. Let me just show you these two together. So they are, there are similar pieces like this, like these, like very similar pieces like these on the internet, right? Or online. The prices are deceiving, right? Because I saw very similar pieces like this that were selling upwards upwards of $300. Now, I'm not sure exactly what these are. They're solid wood. They're clearly, they're clearly um, hand-carved, heavy wood, solid wood pieces, right? But I found one, I'm gonna put this one down. I found one that was very similar to this one, right? Obviously, um, I'd have to take into consideration the the damage on the ears and certainly note that in my um, in my listing. But I saw a similar piece, and I think this was on Etsy, that sold one of these sold for thirty nine ninety nine, forty dollars for one. And I have two of them, and I paid six ninety nine for two of them. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on these babies, but I'm probably going to sell. I'm going to definitely note the damage for sure this one is not as bad as the other one but i'm definitely going to price upward above 40 for both for or not for both but for one of them at least right i'm more than likely going to sell them as a pair right but i think if uh one one of these sold on se4 similar one and there was no marks on the bottom it was hand, you could tell it was hand carved and that one on etsy sold for 39.99 I'm thinking, okay, I can probably get the same even with the little damage on his ear, right? Maybe a little bit lower, right? So I thought that was a pretty good pickup. Give me one second. I thought that was a pretty good pickup for $6.99 for two of those. But guys, I think that is it. What's my favorite? I think my favorite... I think my favorite is the Emmy Hadler. I really do. I think this is the, this is the pickup that made me go made me go crazy right because i love ma hadley i've sold her pieces before i think i even sold some ma hadley mugs but um anyway this is actually my favorite or one of my favorite but give me one second but then i think the the other piece that i have which i think is just strange and pretty at the same time is this mirror which i think is i think someone handmade this baby but it is just so just so beautifully weird right so i think i had some i think i picked up some good items this go round, and uh not this go round. these have been in my stash but um i think i picked up some really good items i really do so so yeah so there we go so all right guys so listen i'm going to end this haul and as always let me just make sure that i let you know that if there's anything that you guys see in these halls, please do let me know because I got to catch up with my getting these things listed. I, this, I think this is the last of my haul for a good little while because I'll just be traveling. Um, I'm going to try to put some videos in here or there. Um, and then maybe when I go to Pittsburgh, I'll be able to, um, Shalanda, Shalanda, and I will, Shalanda and I will be traveling together. So maybe we'll put together some, some footage of us going to some stores after work. 
um, in Pittsburgh. But uh, I think this is gonna be the last of my hauls for a little bit, at least until after I travel after the early part of November. Um, but yeah, so if there's anything that you guys see, definitely that you would like to have, shoot me an email. I'll put all of my contact information down there. I'll put a link to my store so you can see the other items that are in my store. And don't forget to hit the subscribe. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And, um, and then also hit that bell notification so that if when I do upload videos, YouTube will send you a uh, notification that uh, Don is uploading a video. All right. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you this last item. I got to stand up and show it to you. It's a beautiful, beautifully, stunningly beautiful quilt. I paid $2.99 for this piece, guys. You're not even going to believe it. $2.99. It's by this company called The Company Store. I think, if I'm remembering correct, I think The Company Store is a, I want to say maybe a Pottery Barn brand. I'm not really sure. But um, but this is this is beautiful. It has horses on it and I want to it's huge I think it's for a twin size bed so just give me one moment I gotta stand up and, and get this baby give me one second I can't I don't even think I'm going to be able to open it all because it's so huge so give me one second all right so look look at this it's gorgeous hold on a second you gotta see the look at that isn't that beautiful like, I love, 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 love this. Like, my daughter, she probably would fight me for it, you know, because she loves horses. But I think this will probably fit a, I think this will probably fit a, 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 a twin bed, right? So as you can see, it is huge. I do have to clean it. I have to uh, use some OxyClean because it does look like there's a few little spots on it, but nothing major, no smells or anything. I'm, my nose is very sensitive. But um, but yeah, it was only two ninety nine, and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful, the pinks and the greens and all that type of color. So I gotta definitely keep this from Sonia because she will probably try to commandeer it. All right, guys, that is it. I'm gonna take a picture of that, guys. I'm gonna take a picture of that just like that is, and put it up here so you guys can see. It's, it's really pretty. I'll take a picture of it and stick it up there so you guys can see it. That prob probably didn't do it justice. It's heavy, and I was trying to get it all in the camera. So, anyway, guys, that's my haul. Thank you so much for stopping by Restore Glory. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, uh, please do let me know. I don't mind answering any questions. And uh, just let me know if you see anything in this haul that you'd like to have. And I'm happy to... Uh, send you an uh, invoice through PayPal and we can go from there. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to go and uh, fix my, uh, continue fixing my wonderful dinner that's smelling good. So I have barbecue chicken. I have the bang bang shrimp. I have some greens with some turkey, uh, smoked turkey, you know, to season them up. And I have some roasted garlic and rosemary potatoes. Doesn't that sound good? Doesn't that sound good? Sounds good to me. So we'll, we'll be, it's just the two of us. So we'll be eating off that for a couple of days. I'll take some for lunch. My husband will take some uh, to, to lunch for, for his job. And so, you know, we'll freeze some of it. But but yeah, this is, this is my thing. I love, love, love to cook. And this was a good day to kind of sort of multitask. Do this. I have some laundry to do. What else do I have to do? I have some shipping to do. So this, this is going to be a good day. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, guys. You have a great day. I feel like I'm just rambling on and on. <laughs> thank you so much for coming into Restore Glory for a little bit. I really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day. Smooches.